Good morning. Welcome to another vlog. I am actually vlogging off of my iPhone because uh, I'm practicing. So we'll get into that in just a second because uh, I think in, in this particular vlog, we're going to be talking a lot about uh, me prepping for my trip to Italy slash the UK. So uh, in case you guys missed it, I mentioned this, um, I don't know, a few vlogs ago, but I am going to Italy. I am going in... What's today? I'm leaving in five days. So I am going to Florence for about, let's see, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, probably like four and a half days. And then I'm going to Milan for about three days or two and a half days. You know what I'm saying? Two and a half days, three days. And then uh, I'm traveling with two women and we're all leaving out of London. So between Milan and London, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to maybe make our way to Paris and take the train um, to London or just fly from Milan to London. I don't know what we're going to do. Um, we may even spend a little bit more time in a different part of Italy or a different part of France. I, I don't Germany. I don't know. We, we I don't know where we're going to end up. So anyway, I'm very, very excited for this trip. I've never been to Italy. Um, it is a dream of mine. Earlier this year, I went to Paris, which was another dream of mine, but Italy, Italy is a country that I have wanted to visit for so, so long. And uh, as you guys know, it is like the land of the artisans that I respect the most. I just, I love anything Italian made. I also feel, and, and I don't know if I'm the only one that feels this way, but I feel like Italy is one of those few countries where you want to hit like every part of it, every area of the country is um, is interesting and we've heard of and we like associate certain things to uh, those certain areas like Rome and Puglia and uh, Tuscany and the Amalfi Coast and you know like there's so many areas that you just want to hit that you've heard at least us Americans have heard of uh, like Como you know Milan the whole all of it all of it I just find Italy to be um, just you know, just a country that I, I would love to just spend years just kind of exploring the entire country because I just think it's um, it's incredible, incredible. Anyway, can't wait to go. I'm not someone that usually packs and preps well in advance. I'm just not one of those people. I usually pack the night before. If I'm traveling, you know, quick trip domestically to someplace maybe I'm familiar with, I'll just pack that morning. I, I'm just, I don't like packing. <laughs> and I just don't see the point in packing ahead of time. This time, however, I think I need to at least start thinking about it because I don't, I only want to have carry on on the way there. I suspect I'll be doing probably a little bit of shopping while I'm there and I'll probably have a check-in on my way home. But I just want to stay kind of like light uh, on the way there because I'm flying into Rome and then we're taking um, the train or somehow we're getting from Rome to Florence. And I just, I, be, I just want to stay light on my feet. And it is a summertime. I don't have to pack anything bulky. I think I'm just going to survive pretty much on like linen shirt dresses, cotton shirt dresses. I'll probably bring like one set of separates. Um, and that's at pajamas, of course. And I'm going to bring, I'm hoping, I'm hoping you guys, two pairs of shoes. I'm thinking I'm going to bring my, a pair of sneakers that I'll probably wear on the on the flight over. And then I'm gonna pack a pair of Birkenstocks. And I think that's it. I don't plan on doing anything terribly fancy, and this is why. So the reason why I'm going to Florence at this time of the year, which is not my favorite, it's the summertime, it's very hot, it's full of tourists. Um, I have to like really dig deep <laughs> and go within and really prepare myself for the heat. Um, I, I think, I am going there specifically for a trade show. So I'm traveling with um, a woman that I used to work with when I was a knitwear designer. She owns a yarn company. And so she has gone to this particular trade show in Florence a number of times. Um, and um, I've always wanted to go with her. This is the trade show of all trade shows. If you want to work with an Italian mill to create um, any sort of knit, knit fabrication, design, anything. And so, you know, being uh, an, an ex-hand knitwear designer and someone who has distantly worked with Italian mills, I'm just 
dying, dying to go and just see what is out there. So we're going to be spending three days at this trade show, and that's really going to make up the bulk of what is going on in Florence. I'm really, really hoping to be able to get some touristy stuff in. I would love to take in the sites, but my priority is that trade show. So that's also why I feel like, you know, I'm just, I just need to be comfortable. I need to be comfortable and have comfortable footwear. I'm going to be on my feet all day walking the show. And, um, you know, again, the woman that I'm traveling with, she has appointments set up with Mills. I'm going to be tagging along to those. I cannot wait to find out what I'm going to learn and, you know, connections I'm going to make. I'm just really, really excited uh, for that part. And then the time that I'm going to be in Milan, I'm going to be visiting with Luna Scamuzzi, who's the designer of Lucifer Vier Nestis. And we're going to try and, you know, film some stuff for YouTube. So most of this trip is going to be work, but... You know, this is my first foray into traveling Italy, into visiting Italy. So I'm just so excited to just be able to kind of dip my toe, <laughs> dip my toe into the Italian waters and just get a sense of it. I definitely want to go back at some point, probably during a cooler month and, you know, hit Venice, hit Lake Como, hit, like I said, like all the places, Rome, absolutely. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm really, I'm just really, really excited, but I'm also, because Mentally, I'm, I'm thinking like, okay, I just want to do carry on. I'm really kind of um, stressing out about like, okay, well, what can I bring? I have to be really, really smart about what I'm bringing. And so the reason why I'm practicing on my iPhone here vlogging is that I don't want to bring any cameras other than this iPhone. I just want to vlog off of the iPhone because if I bring any other equipment, it just comes with so much stuff. As you guys know, like another cable to charge, more battery packs, and now that I'm using that external mic on my vlogging camera, there's the mic, there's uh, the receiver, there's the case that comes in. Like, it just becomes like exponentially more bulky the more tech that I bring. So I'm hoping <laughs> that I could just vlog. I mean, I know I can. People do it all the time. People just vlog on their phone. Um, but my the one thing that I really you know, want to do well is my visit with Luna because I do want to include some footage, you know, of her, of her studio. I know she's dying to meet you guys. I'm sure you guys are dying to meet her as well because she's just a genius, just such a genius. So that, that's the one thing I need to consider. So if I do have extra space, I am going to bring my vlogging camera, my actual vlogging camera and not just my iPhone. And then, you know, do I bring my laptop? Anyway, you guys get my drift here. So that's what today's morning rambles is about. We we're just uh, kind of really thinking a lot about what I'm going to be packing for Italy. But uh, later on this vlog, we'll go upstairs in my closet and kind of like lay out what I can bring. And I, you know, I, I'm also trying to figure out like what actual baggage I'm bringing. So um, I have, which I have to dig out. This is so strange. I had a bag from Bagu that I brought when I went to Tokyo. It's this big black nylon bag. It's just, it's it's like a giant, like weekender size tote. It has handles that you can carry and then it has longer handles, almost like that Loewe um, straw bag that I had. It had like two sets of handles, one for the shoulder, one for hands. And it, it was just great. It had this like little outside pocket um, that was really snug so you could like stuff stuff in there and then it was just one giant um, bag and then you could like fold it up and like fold it into itself and I think that's what I did and I put it away and now I can't find it because I think it's just this little thing now um, but I want to bring that definitely as one of my carry-ons and then I don't know I, I don't know if I want to bring like an actual rolly because those are heavier you know and I just feel like if I can just bring some sort of like light bag, it would just be really, really convenient for this trip. So um, I know I had mentioned in, I think my like handbag wish list video that I wanted to get that Brunello Cuccinelli handbag <laughs> for this trip. But because I'm just, I'm really paring stuff down and I don't know what I'm going to be buying in Italy, I'm holding off on buying that bag, um, even though I'm still lusting after it. Um, but that like seaweed colored, like nylon bag with the beaded handles. I really, I really love that bag, but I'm going to hold off. I'm going to hold off. I want to save my shopping pennies for when I'm in Italy. I don't know what I'm going to come across. So many of you have given me such amazing shopping tips. Um, some of you have been like, don't wait to buy stuff in Italy because it, it's just, it's not like shopping in America. Like all the shops are kind of uh, separate and it there's 
I don't know. I, I, I don't really know the layout, but um, a lot of people have mentioned that actually, and that the merchandise there is uh, very different from the merchandise here. So anyway, those bags will still be here when I get back. So I figured, let me just go to Italy and see what happens, <laughs> basically. Um, and again, because I'm going to be uh, kind of focusing on work a lot, I don't even know if I'm going to be doing that much shopping. Oh, and like very pared down skincare and makeup. So that is definitely a consideration. As you guys know, skincare and makeup can be so bulky, but I don't want to bring like more than just a little Ziploc bag of both things. So I do also need to get uh, little containers for my skincare because I don't want to bring the full size because I want to check in. Um, yeah, yeah. So we're going to see if we can do this. Can I, I mean, that should be the name of my blog, right? Can I just bring carry on to Italy? <laughs> Is that physically possible? We're going to see. Today, what I need to do is start pre-filming. Because I said, I, I only have five days before I leave. I can't believe. I can't believe how time is flying because I'm leaving in June and I'm coming back in July. And I'm like, oh my God, I cannot believe it's already July. So I already, I do have a couple things um, pre-filmed already, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, but I, you know, I'm going to be gone a while and yeah. So I need to pre-film, start to pre-film today. I'm going to be probably pre-filming for the next like three or four days and that's it. But I will be back to continue this discussion about prepping for Italy. Um, I haven't spoken to you since I was in the kitchen. I was just kind of talking about prepping for my trip to Europe. So I am planning on only bringing carry-on, as I mentioned. So I'm gonna have like a little wheelie and my Bagu nylon tote. So I also talked about this in the intro where this is the tote that I brought to Japan and I haven't been able to find it. I, you know, have looked for it like occasionally here and there. Every time I've taken a trip, I'm like, where's that black bag? Haven't been able to find it. Yesterday, I spent a good few hours looking for it and I finally found it. It was like tucked inside a pocket inside another bag. Why would I do that? But anyway, here is the bag. The bag I can't shut up about. It is so nondescript. It's just nylon, it's black, but it's got these shorter handles. And then it also has these longer handles for the shoulder. And then it does have this outside pocket, which is great for like a water bottle or whatever. And then inside there is a little zippy pouch. This pouch is removable and you can fold up this bag and put it in the pouch. This bag is so amazing, it fits so much. And I think, yeah, I think if you've been with me for a long time, I think I probably packed up this bag with you guys in a vlog when I was going or getting ready to go to Japan. So it really doesn't look like much, but it just, here's the bottom, it just fits a lot a lot a lot and once you fill it it has more of like a square shape so it just like holds a lot anyway this bag is awesome it's also super light which is what i need so i'm so glad that i found that bag and then when my friend jen was here we went to marshall's and she made me buy these roll and pack airtight storage bags so she's a big traveler. She's the one that I went to Morocco with. I think I neglected to mention that <laughs> during the vlog when she was here, but she's the friend that I went to Morocco with. She's the one that I spent her 50th with there and we had such a great time. So she's a big traveler. She goes to India at least once a year. Um, she's going to Egypt next year. I may join her. Uh, we've been to Morocco. Yeah, so she travels a lot and all the time. She travels a bit for work. So anyway, she was like, you have to get these. These are incredible. So as you guys know, I love my packing cubes, but I think packing cubes are more for organization versus space saving. So uh, I'm excited to try these out. And then I also, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but I picked these up too when I was at Marshall's. Just these clear bags. Uh, which I thought could be really handy. And there's seven of them. Actually, I don't even think I realized that. There's seven. Oh, wow. Okay. Of all different sizes, a variety of sizes. So I've got those two things. I do have my packing cubes if I do need them for something else. I've been thinking about, okay, what exactly <laughs> am I bringing? What exactly do I need to bring? So I'm going to be in Florence for the bulk of the trip. My focus, and I know uh, my friend's focus, is gonna be this trade show. And so we're gonna be there for, I think, three days uh, at the trade show. So I just have to dress comfortably. I wanna dress cool, coolly, not cool. And so I think I'm really gonna focus my packing on 
shirt dresses. I have a lot of them, so I don't have to go out and get any. And then they're cool and it's only one piece. So I have an entire outfit in one piece. And so that'll really cut back on space in the luggage. So these are the shirt dresses that I am thinking about bringing. So this is that metallic linen one from Cause. It's short sleeve, it's super long, it's linen, which is perfect. So that's coming with me. This is one from Amazon's The Drop line. So I just washed this and hung it up, but I need to iron it. It's really kind of crispy looking. But this is a great short sleeve cotton dress and it has pockets. So it does have side pockets. And this one is a bit shorter, as you can see, versus the Cos one. The Cos one also has pockets, by the way. Um, so this is a little bit shorter. This like falls basically below my knee and this one is like above my ankle. So this is a really long one. And then I have this dress. This is another one from Amazon, not an Amazon brand, just something I got off of Amazon. This one is also pretty long, as you can see. This one does have pockets, very importante. And then this dress is one from Muji. It has uh, like a mandarin collar and this looks like denim, but it's actually like a tencel. So it's really drapey, it's very, very cool. It has these short sleeves with this drop shoulder. So just a really easy silhouette. It does also have pockets right here. And I wore this all around Japan and it was, I mean, it's basically like a muumuu. It's just giant and it's so comfortable and it's so cool. So that is definitely coming with me. And then I've got this Amazon. This is another um, item from their drop line. So this is just a black linen shirt dress, like absolutely perfect pockets as well. So, and that is coming. This is another Amazon find, not from the Amazon brand, but just from the site. You guys have seen me wear this a gazillion times. And this is like a completely shapeless cotton striped shirt dress. And I get so many compliments every time I wear this particular shirt dress. It's so funny. Uh, men and women alike. Men are like, oh my God, I want to wear something like that. I'm like, you can look on Amazon. So anyway, the only only issue I have with this is it does not have pockets. So it's a super simple, simple um, shirt dress. And then last but not least, I have this black, it's like a crinkle cotton. This shirt dress from H&M, I wear this all the time. You see me wear this all the time. And I've had this dress probably for like, I don't know, three years at this point. Um, so this one is coming. And then um, I was thinking that I should probably bring at least one outfit that's like, a separate. So I have my Everlane elastic waisted cotton poplin um, cropped wide leg pants. They go with a lot of things. They're also going with the shoes that I'm bringing, which I'll talk about in just a bit. And then I figured I could bring this top. You guys have seen where this is a really old cause top. It's short sleeve, it's cotton, button front. Um, and this one I can maybe wear if we like go out to eat and need to look a little nicer, I could wear those two together. And then if I have room, I thought I would bring this cause blouse, this taupe linen blouse. I think this would look fine with those pants. So yeah, so if I have the room, I'll bring this as well. And so the shoe situation, shoes take up so much room. So I'm hoping to only bring two pairs of shoes. I know it sounds crazy. <laughs> Not that crazy. Um, so I'm gonna be wearing my Loewe sneakers on the plane. So I'll have those. And then I think I'm just gonna pack my black Birkenstocks. I think they just, they kind of go with everything. They are comfortable. And yeah, and I can wear them with those cropped pants and I can wear them with every single one of those shirt dresses. So I think that's it. And I was also thinking, I'm like, do I need to bring maybe like a layering piece? Um, I don't, not a sweater. I think that's way too warm, but like my hoodie or something, I'll wear that on the plane because the planes are usually cold. Um, so I won't need to pack that. So I'll have a layer. And then I think that's it. I mean, aside from like underwear and socks or whatever, but in terms of clothing, I think that's it. I did actually place an order at Rag and Bone and I can't, can't wait to show you guys this. So I was completely influenced by this Instagram ad. So rag and bone Instagram ad and uh, you know, just showing a pair of jeans. And I was like, oh my gosh, those are so cute. They just looked so comfortable. You know, they had this like really nice drape to them. And when I read the description of it, they basically were jean like pants. So they weren't actually jeans. They were just uh, printed to look like jeans. And I was like, 
Now we've seen this before, like jeggings and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, they always look like terrible. They look like printed jeans, but these look so good. So anyway, I was like, I have to order these and just see, because what if they did it right? And I could wear really comfortable pants that look like jeans. You guys, these are incredible. So they have a few different styles. This is the Miramar style. They're elastic waisted. <laughs> They have pockets and they're wide leg. So this uh, comes in two different colors. I got both colors. I am a size large. I ordered large and extra large because if I wanted to wear them for Italy, which I am gonna be wearing these on the plane, um, I didn't have time to like exchange. So I just ordered both sizes and I'm gonna return the extra large because the large fits me. So this shade is the Noosa shade. So it's a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter than the other shade, the other, or color, <laughs> I'm saying shade like their eyeshadow. The other color is Noosa. No, I'm sorry, that's Noosa. The other color is Lennox, and it's a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna angle the camera down. Look at these, look at these pants. They, and I'm looking at them closely, they look like jeans, but they're like sweatpant material. So I'm just gonna show you, well, I'm gonna show you the outside again. They just look like jeans. The inside, I don't know if you can see that. I think you can. It's like the inside of a sweatshirt. It's that loop material. So this is like a French terry. So it's looped on one side, but it's like thin. It's not like a heavy sweatshirt. And so they have this amazing drape. They have, <laughs> look at this incredible detail. Hold on. Let me show you this one thing. I was like, oh my God, they did not. It's like they made it look distressed. Like this is printed on, but this looks like a hole. Isn't that so cool? The pocket is not here, it's a side pocket here, but they printed all that on. They printed the button, the fly. <laughs> it just looks really, really good. I think this is the best I have ever seen, ever. So I am so, so excited for these. And this is what I'm gonna be wearing on the plane. I was like, yes, I'm so excited that they work. Now I have them pulled up pretty high and lengthwise, I think if I put my sneakers on, they'll be okay, but I think I am gonna have to cut the bottoms. They're like just a little bit too long. Like I do have them pulled up too high. <laughs> if I pull them down to where I would kind of normally wear them, yeah, they're like definitely at least an inch or two too long. So I think I may just cut the ends off because I'm not, I'm not getting like sweatpants. These are essentially sweatpants. I'm not getting sweatpants tailored. So I'm just gonna cut the bottoms off, but I am so excited for these pants. My husband is gonna be so jealous, so, so jealous. But I'm like, rag and bone, you have made all of my dreams come true. I am wearing jeans, but they're actually sweatpants. Oh my God. And then remember this Kate coat? If you caught my last fashion haul, I did a haul from Loewe, Kate, and Montclair. This was one of the pieces. And this is that beautiful, beautiful, like acid, olive, putrid green, like corduroy, chevron, I'm using all the words, uh, material. I just love this material. Um, but this coat, so it, it's just, it's giant, it's oversized. Sorry, I have to hold the mic. Um, so it's, you know, it's giant, it's oversized. There's just something off about the proportions. So let me back up here. It's too long. It just doesn't, it doesn't look right. And it's not comfortable. It's very heavy. And, you know, and the sizing is all wrong. This is a small, which is ridiculous because I, as you know, normally wear a large or an extra large. And it's, I, you know, I feel like I could still size down. And I know it's meant to be oversized, but it really, it's like just, you know how there's just some pieces of clothing that's just like, it's too much material? That's how I feel about this coat. It's just too much material. I feel like I need to get it like shortened and tailored and tucked and all these things. I almost feel like it's a piece that wasn't actually finished being designed. Like they did all this stuff and then they just were like, okay, yeah, just, just put it into production. And it really, there really should have been a lot more thought put into it. I really think this would have been great as a pea coat because this material is really, um, not really, it's a little stiff. It's a little stiff. And as a pea coat, it just would have looked, I think, really sharp or just a really kind of tidy um, coat with like single breasted. 
uh, without these giant slits and maybe just down to my knee. But this is, yeah, it's just too, it's too much material. And I like oversized things, but I don't like things that just are like too much. <laughs> It's also very, very heavy. So anyway, this is the exchanged piece that I got and I'm just gonna return it, unfortunately. I even think, sorry, I'm just going on and on. I even think if they didn't put that fourth row of buttons down there, that even that would be, make it a little bit better, but it just, you know, to have buttons that go that far down the coat, it just like brings the whole coat down it just makes it really, really like hang low and make it very heavy looking. And I would even think I would just remove this button, but they have a buttonhole there. And it just, yeah, it just doesn't look right. Anyway, this is going back, unfortunately. So I have about two, wait, what's today? I have about two and a half days left before I leave for Italy. And um, I think I'm in a pretty good place. As you guys know, I usually pack just usually the night before or the morning of, but I am leaving really early the morning uh, of my flight. My flight leaves at 6 a.m. So I definitely can't pack the morning of, that would just be crazy. Um, but I do feel like I'm in a pretty good place. Very rarely do I put this much thought into what I'm packing, into what I'm bringing. So I'm feeling pretty good. What I do need to go out and get is something like little plastic jars, little plastic bottles to put like skincare in, to put, um, like tablets in. I just, I like to travel with like Advil in case, a little bit of Dramamine. So I want to get a little container for that. Um, so I think I'm going to make a quick run to Walgreens. Okay. Well, the selection at Walgreens was abysmal. As you can see, it was really bad. So I think I'm going to go to Daiso. I know they have some fun stuff um, there and I actually haven't been there in a while and would like to see what they have. And if not them, they're in a strip mall that has a lot of other options. Like there's the Marshalls there and there's another place around there. I can't remember the name of it, but they have like odds and ends and stuff. So let's head on over to Daiso. Daiso was a fail. They, I, I feel like they had everything other than what I was looking for. They even had um, like little teeny tiny ones, but I'm like, that's good for a couple days, but I need like, like just a little bit bigger. Okay, I cut the bottoms off of these jeans because they were definitely too, too long and they still look like jeans. <laughs> I showed my husband the jeans. He was like, oh, nice jeans. He's like, Oh, they look really comfortable. And I was like, oh, feel them. And he was like, that doesn't feel like denim. And then I showed him the inside. He was like, oh, wow. He's like, do they have men's? <laughs> I knew he was going to be jealous and covetous of my new jeans. I am, obviously I'm back home. My hair looks crazy because uh, we just sat in our hot tub just for a little bit. Um, we're like, we never enjoy the pool. Let's just sit in there for a little while. So we did that. I just threw my hair up. And um, while I was at the hot tub, I actually looked onto Amazon and they had little two ounce jars that they could deliver tomorrow. So I was like, I'll just, I'll just get that. I was gonna try and go to the container store, whatever. I, I'm like, I just don't have time. So those are coming tomorrow. So I'll be able to put pills in there and decant some creams and stuff. So that'll be perfect. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling very good about where I am. We walked through what I was going to pack. 
I'm not gonna be packing a lot of makeup at all. I'll be definitely be packing a lot more skincare than makeup. We talked through my shoes, my handbag. I think I'm pretty good. So I'm gonna leave you guys here today. I will be back tomorrow. I actually have a YouTuber friend, Nicole. Her channel is Yay or Nay Nicole. Um, her nine to five job is very, very busy. So she actually hasn't posted a lot uh, lately. So speaking of busy, she's gonna be here in Vegas tomorrow. So we are all going out for dinner tomorrow night. All of us being my husband, Nicole and myself, we're going to the new Ocean Prime. I'm so excited. I will definitely take you guys along for that venture because it's supposed to be incredible. I, and I think it's like a freestanding restaurant, but it's on the strip. Like it has its own address. It's not part of a casino. So it, that's unusual. So what do I have to do now? I'm pretty much done with work for the day. I'm gonna pick up butters and then um, I think we have to figure out what we're doing for dinner. Good morning. I just showered. I went to a stride class this morning, which was very much needed because I ate so much at Ocean Prime last night. It was so delicious. I had such a great time with Nicole. She is such a like wonderful, peaceful soul. I started with a salad and then um, Nicole and I basically, we like ate half of each of our entrees and then switched plates. So I had scallops and risotto and then I had half of her Chilean sea bass, and then we had lobster mac and cheese as a side. It was so good. I definitely ate way too much of it. Uh, we also had Brussels sprouts, we had mashed potatoes. Uh, my husband had this beautiful looking piece of ribeye. Um, I refrained from that because I was just, I, there was like too much food going on. Anyway, went to class this morning, showered, and now I wanted to try on this order that I got from Everlane. So I picked up a bunch of stuff from Everlane specifically for this trip. Now I'm now at this point, I'm leaving tomorrow. <laughs> so I need to try this stuff on, uh, see if it works, see if it's something I wanna bring to Italy. So let me go ahead and unpack this box and show you what I got. My husband is showering, so that's the water, <laughs> the water in the background. Um, I, again, don't remember exactly what I ordered from Everlane. I do know that I picked up a bunch of linen <laughs> products since I know it's going to be warm in Italy. I just checked the, um, the forecast for Florence and for Milan. Florence is definitely warmer than Milan. Um, however, it looks like I may luck out the time that I'm there. It looks like it's just going to kind of peak at around 90 degrees instead of like 100. So I'm happy about that. Although 90 is still very uncomfortable, but let's see. Okay, I've got this linen puff sleeve shirt in this off-white, that looks promising. And then, oh, this 
bag used to be plastic. That's nice. Uh, this is another shirt, I believe, in a stripe. Another linen shirt in an off-white, and then a linen puff sleeve dress. Oh, and navy. Oh, I'm not, not usually like a navy girl, but I think maybe they didn't have a lot of color options. Anyway, let's start with this one. And I hope I don't sound insensitive here. I don't mean to, but let me just explain myself. <laughs> so linen dresses, unless they're like a shirt dress or something a little bit more tailored, I feel like they look very, or can look very, very um, like old fashioned farm life dress. That's the best way I could put it. Old fashioned and like I work on a farm. And that's not exactly the look that I'm going for. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not my thing. So I am always kind of uh, weary of linen dresses. And I'm, I, think this, <laughs> I think this dress falls in that category. Yeah, it has like, you know, not long sleeves, but not short sleeves. It has this like little bit of gathering around this, what looks to be kind of like a drop waist. Um, it does have pockets. We always love a pocket. Um, I'm, I may not even bother trying this on. It's also really heavy. There's something really heavy about linen. Anyway, it's a very, very um, heavy, kind of like smooth kind of fiber. Okay, I'm gonna pass on, <laughs> I'm gonna pass on this one. I don't even know why I ordered it. I think I was like in this linen ordering frenzy. But I have enough dresses, as you guys saw. The dress category is very well covered territory. So I think, yeah, I think I'll just send that one back. And then let's see what this one is. The linen workwear shirt. Ah, this looks very promising. Okay, we'll try that one on. And then this one is a linen popover pocket shirt. Let's see. Oh, this one's long sleeves. I'm definitely gonna have to roll that up. And then, oh, it's like a really deep, Henley. So I do have to uh, pull it over. It doesn't open all the way in the front. Oh, that's cute. Okay, we'll try that on. This one, short sleeve, that's good. And oh, this is a, a button front. So this button's all the way down. This is cute too. Okay, we will try this on as well. I don't have time at the moment to steam all of this stuff, so I apologize. I'm gonna be modeling these pieces that are <laughs> pretty wrinkly. Okay, here is the first one. Oh, this is nice. This looks a little, little dressier than I expected. I always expect linen to look really uh, casual, um, but I think this like notched lapel situation here uh, makes it look a little bit more formal. It's got some breast pockets. That's nice for like coverage because I think this is a little see-through, so that's, very nice, very strategically placed. All right, I think this one is a keeper. And that one is the linen workwear shirt. All right, here is the popover striped shirt and I rolled up the sleeves like way, way high up. Um, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this. I think it looks okay. I just don't know if I like the stripes. They're a little bit um, wider than like just a normal pinstripe. And then here's where the buttons end and then the rest of the shirt. I don't know. I don't know why I feel lukewarm about this. It's not, it's not that different from a lot of shirts that I have, except for the stripes. Maybe it's the stripes. Okay, this one is a maybe. And here is the style name. And then the color and size are at the end. So this is the brown and white stripe and I got the size 12. Oh wow, this one is uh, considerably more roomy. I'll have to check what the size is. Um, this has raglan sleeves and it has a little bit of a, a puff kind of sleeve going on. Um, collarless shirt style here. And this goes all the way down. So this is a button front shirt. But do you see how much room there is? I mean, I kind of like the idea of that. Just really well vented clothing. <laughs> uh, this is nice. This is nice and I like the color. It's just like a little off white. Actually, it's very much like um, the first one I tried on. Here's just a little comparison. The one that I have on is just a little creamier than the first one. Yeah, this one is cute. I think this one is a keeper too. It's, um, like I said, there's like a lot going on, but I think it looks nice that way. There's like 
a pretty vent here with some detailing. Yeah, I think this looks good. Okay, so two keepers, one maybe, and one I'm definitely sending back that dress. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I'm gonna take all this off and now we're gonna start packing. Oops, I almost forgot. So the last shirt I tried on, this is the style name and color and size. So I did get this in the extra large. I probably could have gotten the large, but that's okay. I'll bring it to, <laughs> I'm gonna bring it to Italy. fit on one side along with my Birkenstocks. So clothing, um, shoes, all fit on one side. And then on the other side of my luggage, I think, oh, I don't know if I showed you this yet. I'll show it to you in a second, but I have like my underwear and my socks. Anyway, so what I did was I got these little jars from Amazon in here. And so I have my cleanser, my moisturizer, and my serum. That's all I'm going with. I have a Jordan Samuel face mist here. And then I have my hair gel here. So that's what these four containers are. And then in this little guy, I did buy an extra little puff and then I did get some um, travel size stuff. I just got some, what, shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste and mouthwash. I have a comb in here because I do suspect I'm just gonna be gelling my hair back and tying it up most of the time. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And then some body gels. So that is this bag. And then this is my makeup, which is super, super pared down. I have mascara, cream blush, eyebrow, eyeshadow pencil, my U Beauty um, lip compound in Fawn, and then the Dr. Jart BB Balm. That is it. And then I have my go bag. This is actually a bag that I had from uh, Paris. Anyway, I have like um, Advil and Dramamine in there. I have my Shiseido sunscreen stick in here. And oh, I forgot to pack my sunscreen. Maybe this will fit in the makeup pouch here. Yes, perfect. I have allergy drops, eye drops. I have re-wetting eye drops. I have Neosporin, Band-Aids. Like I have tissues. I have all that sort of thing in here. So this is, oh, and extra um, contact lenses. So this is the bag. Like if you have to check a bag, you need to take out all of your <laughs> important stuff. It's all in this bag. So I'm hoping all of this will fit in the other side of my uh, luggage that I've been packing. And then pretty much everything that can go in my nylon tote is just gonna be like electronics and stuff because I'm gonna have my laptop, I'm gonna have my iPad, I will have my phone. Um, if it fits, I'm gonna bring my vlogging camera um, and then all the chargers and everything, the um, adapter, what am I saying? Adapter? Yeah, not converter, adapter. Um, I have to bring two of those, not have to, I have two of those, I'm gonna be bringing them and then like all that kind of stuff. I have some snacks for the flight. So that's what I'm hoping the um, carry-on is gonna be. Okay, I'm really impressed that um, everything <laughs> fits so well in this little carry-on. Let me show you um, this side. So here's two rolls of clothing. So these are all of my shirt dresses that I'm bringing. And then these are the pants and the tops that I'm bringing. And then here are the Birkenstocks. So that's this side. And then this side, I just have uh, like a lingerie bag full of my underwear and bras. 
I brought along five pairs of socks, and then these are all the toiletries that I showed you. So I think I have actually plenty of room in here, which I'm really so happy about. <laughs> I don't feel like I need to stuff it, but if I have any last minute additions, I have some room. Let's close this baby up. Oh my God, look at that. And then in terms of jewelry, I don't want to like bring too much, especially of my valuable things, just in case. So I'm just gonna wear like the three rings that I always wear from uh, Lucifer, from Luna. So these two, in addition to my wedding ring. And then for earrings, I think I'm just gonna bring my um, Dune Huggies. I think I'll just wear those. And then I'm debating whether or not I want to wear a necklace. Maybe I'll just bring one of my paperclip chain necklaces. I feel like that pretty much goes with everything. And it looks like I'm just sort of doing gold right now. So I can wear all this. I don't need to pack it. So maybe I'll just wear it on the plane tomorrow. The necklace, the earrings, and my rings. And then any of my bracelets. I think I'm gonna leave my bracelets at home. I don't think I need those. I think I'm good. Oh, you know what I'm just remembering? I wanted to pack my um, elephant, my Loewe elephant bag and my Prada fanny pack, the two bags that I plan on kind of carrying around while I'm there. I wanted to pack those in my rolly bag. So let me get those and I think those should fit no problem. So I think the hard part is over. I've packed pretty much uh, all my clothing and you know, you saw the toiletries and everything. Um, all I have left to pack is just you know, the electronic stuff, which is so boring. And I did realize, I don't know if you guys caught this, I did realize I didn't pack any pajamas or my slippers yet. So I just threw some pajamas into my nylon tote, just a couple of t-shirts and a couple of um, pants. And that's it. That is it. So I'm off to Italy tomorrow. I have pre-filmed a couple of things. I actually pre-filmed my June favorites. There are probably a few things that I would add to that video. Uh, because I've gotten some things in since then, but that's okay. I'll just put them into my July favorites. And uh, what else did I pre-film? Oh, well, I'll let you guys see this. It's not really time sensitive. So I do have another video coming out. Um, you'll be seeing this while I'm there. And then hopefully my next vlog will be my trip to Italy if all goes well. So that is it. And in my next vlog, I'll be in Italy. Bye. Bye.